Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get ourselves a water tank because we just ran out of water again. So I was able to mine for the morning, uh, the entire morning, but sometime right after noon, uh, we lost, uh, or the creek dried up again. So we are in town here to get ourselves a water tank. I um, uh, I checked the, the price of gold and it's below 12, so we're not gonna sell right now. Uh, we have currently have 23.5 uh, ounces. So let's go ahead and park our vehicle right here and go get ourselves a water tank. So this is a big diesel water pump. We don't need a pump, we need a tank. That's a fuel tank. All right, where, where's the water tank at? That's a water pump. It's got a, a reservoir on it. Is this what we need then? Maybe that's what we need. Because I'm not seeing anything else that just looks like a regular water tank. Uh, let's take a look again at this. We looked at this last time. Mobile water tank. Yeah, that's that's the one we want. Okay. All right, that's a little spendy, but we can certainly afford it, though. We can certainly afford it. So it's already got uh, the pump on it. So one's probably an intake, one's the an outtake, or an output, I should say. And it's got some valves here, too. One for a large hose and one for a smaller hose. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, this is what we need uh, because the only other alternative that I can think of is we spend 150000 to repair that water tower, which we don't even have at the moment anyways. And we got to keep digging because every minute we're not digging, we're losing money, just like they say on, uh, on the Gold Rush show. Okay, uh, is there anything else I'm going to need? We already have water hoses and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, I... Let's just get it, and if we need something else, then we'll figure it out at that point. Okay, so we're spending eight grand on this sucker. Now, um, we're probably gonna need. Yeah, those are the inputs, and these are the outputs. Right, that makes sense. Okay, we're probably gonna need a hose to fill this from the city water tank. So let's just get another hose. I mean, they're not that expensive. So let's grab a fat water hose. I don't think I have a spare one of these anyways. I think I'm using all of them. There we go, okay. And then we'll have to stop and get some fuel. Okay, so that's inside of there, all right. Let's, uh, somebody litter with oil and stuff there. That is not good. Not good at all. So I don't know, um, how long this will last us. Um, I wonder if we could get like a whole day out of it and then we could fill it up. Whoop, 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 whoop. Easy there, OG. Um, and then maybe what we do is we fill it up at night or something. Still not quite close enough. Oh my goodness. He just, there's like no uh, variableness to this. It's just balls out, go. Okay, let's just kind of coast back. There we go. Okay. You got to wait for the hitch to light up, and then as soon as it lights up, then you can connect the trailer. Okay, so we've got our... Oh, it's got 20% uh, diesel in it already. That's interesting. Uh, oh, wait. What's... Oh, that's our broken... <laughs> that's our broken jet thing. It's still sitting here. How funny is that? All right, here. We're just going to toss it down there. I was trying to put it in the trash, but I couldn't open it up. Let's go to the uh, gas station next. Um, and that is this way. I'm going to actually stop and check the price one more time because it changes by the hour. Yeah, it's still 11.87. Okay, so we're going to hang on to the gold we currently have. 
Okay, let's go fuel this thing up, and I also have a couple jerry cans I need to fill up for the other stuff. So, can I pull this in here? Somebody wants to work for you. Oh, nice. Okay, good, good. Yeah, we got to check that. There we go. Look at that. Okay, let's get our jerry cans first. What is it, like Sunday or something? The church bells are ringing. Okay, we'll grab this. And that's refueled. Do this one. This game is so fun, you guys. I am thoroughly enjoying this game. Just going to say that. And we'll fill this guy up. Okay. That takes care of the fuel. Now what we need to do is go to the water tank. I'm assuming we can just go fill up from there. I don't know if it's going to cost us anything. We're going to find out here in a second, though. Okay. So we'll hop out of here. So it looks like there's 10,000 gallons out of a million in there. All right, let's grab our hose. Object must be on a flat surface. What? There's a cow. There's a cow over there. Uh, oh. All right, hold on a second. Am I... Do I need to get a, a larger hose? That's capped off. It would seem to indicate we could do that. But this is, I mean, how is that not a flat surface? Or do I have to disconnect this? Maybe that's what the deal is. Okay. Now let's try it. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. And then we should be able to, no, it doesn't let us jack into that. Uh, can we take this off? Nope. Hmm. So I guess we need a bigger hose. Because there's no other place that I can see for us to plug into. And I can't take that cap off of there. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let's wind this thing up. And we're going to have to go get a larger hose. We're going to just leave this here. I hope nobody steals it. I don't think anybody will because <laughs> there's nobody in this town. Um, why is my door open? I don't know why my door is open. All right. Well, let's go back and uh, buy the larger hose then. Okay, here we go. That was weird. Okay, so we need the ultra fat hose, which is this big boy here. Two hundred and one dollar make you holla. All right, if that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. Okay. Grab this boy. Put them in the back and then head back on over. Okay. Now we should be able to do this. So put this big boy here and this big boy here. Oh, we do have to pay for it. Okay. How much is this going to cost us? 975 bucks. Wow. Okay. Well, we got to work, man. That's it. 
It's insta filled. Okay. <laughs> it's done. It's done. Let's widen this guy up. Put him back here. So it costs us almost a thousand bucks to fill this thing up, man. I hope it. Uh, I hope it'll last for a day's worth of mining. I surely do. Okay, where is the hitch? There it is. Okay, let's head on back to the ranch. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Here, let's bring this down a little bit more. Okay, let's put it right there. Excellent. All right, we'll get the pickup out of the way. I want to go back uh, to our tablet and see uh, who this individual is that is ready to hire and see if they're any good. I'd like to find someone that can run an excavator, so that way we can bring our small excavator back. We're going to have to do an uh, an upgrade to the, the parcel, but then we can have, you know, two people running an excavator. That's the idea, anyways. Awaiting. Okay. So you're just a, a hog pen and sluice box person. Tier 1 hog pen sluice box. Um, yeah, I don't know. We, the problem with hiring these guys right now is that, you know, the crick keeps running dry. So I think we're going to just hold off. I think he'll stay in there until we actually reject him or fire him. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is definitely dried out. Yes, indeed. The water, the water sound is still here, though. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, in order for us to stay in full production, we need the uh, that tank to last for at least a half a day, because then we can get. Uh, I mean, assuming the crick fills up every morning, and maybe it doesn't. I don't know. If it does, then you know we do the crick in the morning, and we do the water tank at night and then I just got to fill it up uh, each morning you got to do what you got to do okay come on back this way so what we should be able to do here now is that takes the little hose Um, let's leave that hose attached, especially if we end up having to, you know, switch this stuff back. I'm just going to set that down there. And I do have an extra small hose, which is good. You know what I don't have, though, is an extra... Does this have a small hose connection on it? It doesn't appear to. Let's hold this in our hand and look at it again just to see if I'm maybe missing it. It should show up as a yellow connector. Oh, that sucks. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't look like you can connect the small hose to this pump. That's too bad. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is I'm going to go... I'm not going to do this right now because I want to get back to mining, but... I'm going to have to go get another one of these water boxes um, for that. So for now, let's just disconnect all of this stuff. And we'll take this over here. And we'll just set it right there. And try that again. There we go. And we can connect this end to here. And this end can go over here. 
There we go. All right, and then uh, we bought this extra red pipe, so we're going to hook it up. Okay, we're in business. We'll leave the uh, the big white hose just sitting over next to this for now. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a small? No, that thing's not connected to anything. Well, I don't think it is anyways. It doesn't appear to be. That's the input anyway. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Um, so let's fire things back up and get back to mining. You got 100% fuel. And yeah, like I said, I'll buy another one of these next time I'm in town so we can keep that set up, hooked up all the time. All right. All right, we're in business. Let's hope this thing lasts for at least a half a day. Let's be careful I don't fall down in my hole there. Okay, where did we leave off with our digging here? I think we're actually about ready to start extending this way even more. All right, guys. Well, um, let's see. What time is it? It's... Uh, almost 5 p.m. So I'm going to keep mining here and I will bring you guys back with an update uh, at some point in the near future. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I forgot all my other stuff needs water too. <laughs> so we're going to have to rethink this a little bit. Um, let's disconnect you and disconnect you. And I'm going to bring this back over here. Except for... There's a lot more room on this red hose here. We might as well turn this off. So it might make more sense to set this up maybe over on this side. So yeah, let's do that. Let's put this right here. And then we're gonna pick up this hose. And put it right there. And we'll pick up this hose. Tighten that up a little bit. And put it right here. Okay. Um, and then this one... We're going to bring over to here, but we're just going to drop it on the ground for now. Okay, good. That takes care of that. Now, we actually need to run this guy back over to here. Like so. Which means we could have probably held that back a little more, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. And now, uh, you... And we have two hoses stretching over here. So this one can now come over this way. So let's start wrapping it up a little bit. Good. Okay. And if it, I think it'll actually reach all the way over here, so we might not even need this hose for now. Let's just wind this one back up. And I'm just going to stick it over here for now. I do have a coupler in case, you know, we do need it. Or, and we probably will at some point. Yeah, because we shortened this hose up and it, it reached before, so it should reach okay. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Now we should be back in business here. 
And, uh, yep, you guys have water. Okay, perfect. All right, let's process this bucket here. Got to turn this back on. Okay, so the crick's back. I wonder if I should try and pump water out of the crick at night just so to fill back up so we don't have to pay for it from the city tank. How much have we used so far? Oh, we haven't used that much. Okay. Turn that off. Dump this in the wave table. Put you back down there. And watch our gold climb. So we're at 39 ounces. Forty ounces. Should probably hit forty-one or really close to it. Yep, forty-one. Nice. Okay. Turn that off. So yeah, I'm thinking um at the end of the day. We have that other red hose that's already over there, so we just disconnect everything and haul this back over. Here, let's put this over here. Haul that back over to the crick and just fill it up at night before we go to bed, so that way we have for the morning. Uh, assuming the crick can support that. I, I wouldn't see why not. Okay, so it's a little bit late, but I think I'm going to do one more bucket load before uh, the end of the night here. So I'll bring you guys back with an update here in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are back, and it is uh, nighttime. We finished our mining for the day. We've uh, made 45.2 ounces of gold in total, but, uh, you know, we definitely had some downtime today because we had to go into town to get this stuff. So I'm taking the water tank over to the crit because I got the message that it was uh, back. And let's see if we can fill this up from the crick so that way you know we don't have to go pay for it at the at the village actually here let's turn this off and this off so what we're gonna have to do here I think is we're gonna have to take this pump this does have a, a large output yeah it does okay so uh, let's just wrap that up or take that out for the moment. And let's also, this has the filter still on it, right? Yeah, okay. So we're, we're going to want to actually put that down there. And we'll bring the pump over here. Okay, that's the in, and this will be the out. Yeah, that should work. Okay, uh, now we need another one of the red hoses. I don't want to mess with any of that stuff because it's already set up. So we might need to, I might need to get another red hose, just because. You know, this stuff's already laid out, like I said, and I don't want to keep having to redo it. But for the moment, I guess, yeah, this one's probably going to be the easiest one to redo. And so we'll have to add that to our shopping list. Another, another red hose for filling up the water tank. So let's run this back up there and connect it. I hope this works. I don't see why it won't, but we'll see. Okay, connect that to there. And this to here. Object must be on a flat. Oh, right. I got to uh, unhitch it here. 
Okay, now let's do it. Okay. So now, uh, we're going to need some fuel in that guy. Okay. Now let's start it up and see what happens. Yep, it's filling it back up. Nice. It's uh, taking quite a while, though, to do it. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't drain the creek. Maybe what we do is we just let it run overnight. Yeah, we're just going to let that run overnight until it either fills it up or this runs out of gas. Um, but, you know, based upon what we use today, uh, this tank will definitely last an entire day. I and maybe even a couple of days. Okay, let's go in here and take a quick look at the stock prices. So the gold is still not back up to 12, so we're not going to mess with that. we still got this guy here. But with the crick drying out, I don't know, know if I want to hire someone to do a, a sluice box or a hog pen at this point. Um, plus, I still haven't figured out why I wasn't making any money off that other guy either, so... All right, so you're running, and uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens uh, in the morning. So let's go to bed. We've got a couple things for sale there. Um, all right, so that's our expenses, power generator and a lamp thingy. So you're out of fuel, but you're full. Nice. Okay, I like that arrangement. So it saves me a thousand bucks, man. Okay, let's fill this back up so that way it's ready for tomorrow night or for tonight, I guess, when we fill it up again. That worked out pretty good. Um, let's check the price of gold real quick. This morning. It's at 11.90. Okay. Any new workers? Probably not because I think we would have been notified if there had been. Excellent. All right. So we should be able to have a full day of mining uninterrupted. Uh, we are going to need to take this back with us, though, because we're going to need it on the other end. And... Uh, yeah, we might, you know, we might not need to draw from the crick at all, actually. And if that's the case, then that would mean if we're not pulling water out of here, it shouldn't dry up. So uh, I wonder if we should maybe hire that guy. I just, like I said, I don't know why I wasn't, you know, getting any money from the other dude. Let's look at his, his stats again. See, he's 31% tier one. Uh, all right, well, let's just try it again. So we'll hire him. And... Oh, he needs... Hog pants. Oh, he only works a sluice box. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, um... Yeah, crap. Okay. I thought I thought it meant he can work a hog pen or a sluice box, but he only works a hog pen sluice box. Which means he does the I guess he grabs the mats. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was that other guy actually working, but he just doesn't know how to pull the gold out of the mats? Is that what was going on with that? Oh no. Okay, hold on. Let's go see if there's gold in those mats. It never even occurred to me. No, they're clean. Now, he was never over here working. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to just, uh, you know, see if I can figure out what's going on with all that. But, unfortunately, I just hired this guy, and I can't assign him to anything. I mean, I could assign him to the sluice box, but I don't think that's going to do anything without anybody running the hog pan itself, you know? 
Okay. So I should have just yeah, darn it. Cause now we're now we're having to pay him. Well, alright. Uh, he's fired. <laughs> I'm not paying somebody for not doing nothing, you know? Yeah, uh, we'll figure it out though. We will figure it out. You guys feel free to let me know in the comments too if you have any words of wisdom for me regarding that. Okay, well, let's uh take our water tank back to the dig site and have ourselves a profitable day of mining. Can I pull this thing up here and then back around? Yeah, I can. Nice. Then I don't have to back it up in here. That's pretty good right there, I'd say. Um, I think we're just going to leave our vehicle here. Okay, so... Um, we need to get the red hose put back on here. I can't see the thing. There we go. Um, and run it back over to... No, it has to run over to here. That's right. Straighten that back up a little bit. Oh, man. That really ran out there, didn't it? Okay. And then we're going to put it right towards our water box. It's right over here. There we go. Let's top off this tank here. Wow, that thing uses a lot of fuel. Goodness gracious. Guess that means it's got a lot of capacity too. Uh, I wanna make sure our Jenny's got fuel. Okay, so let's just leave that there for now. And I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's start her up. Oh, we got to get a bucket on here. Don't want to forget that. Otherwise, all your gold goes right on the ground. Okay, we should be good. Okay, so we are starting off at 7 a.m. with 40.4 ounces of gold. I will bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. We'll see how we do. All right, guys, we are finished for the day. We got 100 gold. I'm going to uh, fill the hopper back up real quick, though. Typically, we'll do that uh, at the end, so that way when we start up next time, it's ready to go. And with this thing, it should only take a couple of buckets. And then uh, we're going to uh, see where we are uh, price-wise and get our water tank filled back up, too. So that's 50% there. Got a little chunk right here we can grab. Might might be enough we'll see there, bring you down 92 percent okay we just need a little little more that up there and there we go dumped a little bit of it on the ground but whatever I've, I am getting better at this believe it or not um, but sometimes I still mess it up a little bit 
All right, so let's bring you down to the ground and turn the lights off, turn the engine off. Okay, we are going to grab this. I'm going to probably move my operation down here uh, tomorrow. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll do that tonight just so we're ready to go first thing in the morning. We're still pumping water, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so put that, whoops, put that in there. So, you know, several episodes ago when I was still digging, I had questioned whether or not nuggets were a little much. Uh, I no longer think that. If, if it wasn't for the occasional nugget that I get, um, I think this would still be too grindy. But with the nuggets, it makes it fun. It was, it was just that we got so many so quickly when I first turned them on that it seemed like it was a little overboard. But, you know, I can do a whole dig session, a whole bucket full, without getting any nuggets at all. Um, so I, I don't know. I probably average maybe one and a half. I don't know. I probably average one every one and a half to two sessions. Uh, but the nuggets you get from this are a lot bigger, too. I mean, I've gotten nuggets that were, like, up to 12 ounces uh, not all the time though something they're not usually that big but i've seen a couple that are that size uh so i think it helps make the game just a little bit less grindy and you know it's it's fun to find a big nugget too okay so let's turn that off and you're already off why are you turned off no you weren't we just couldn't hear the sound okay so for that whole day of mining, uh, we started at 7 a.m. Uh, we still haven't even used half of the water in this tank, so we could actually do two days with one tank of water, uh, which is good to know. Okay, so let's see. We want to move stuff over. Uh, we're no longer. I'm no longer going to use the creek now that I know that we can get two full days of mining from just one tank. We will still use the cr creek to fill it up in at nighttime. But I don't, you know, we don't need to run water all the way from the creek back here, which means all of this setup here we we can take down. So let's get started by uh, we'll move the the um, equipment first.
Okay, let's fill up Jenny so it's ready to go in the morning. And we'll just stick that right there. Uh, this tank is actually empty, so that's going to need to be filled up. You know what I think I'm going to do? Actually, let's take this back for the, the other pump we're going to run overnight, and uh, then when we go into town, we'll refill that too. I might even take the water tank into town and, and fill it directly up because it, it's got a much larger tank on it. So you know what? I think we'll do that, but we're still going to get the water here uh, overnight. Okay, so let's go grab our water tank. You know, now that I think about it, since we have a, a much larger tank on here to deal with... Oh, crap, I left the big hose back at the... Uh, wait, no, we don't need the big hose for here. Maybe we should go ahead and invest in that big fuel tank. I'm thinking... Okay, so we have to unhitch this, and we need uh, we need another red hose. Okay, so we can grab this one over here. Okay, so that hose is hooked up. Uh, we need to fuel up the pump there. And let's turn it on. Okay, there it goes. All right. So we have one last thing to do before we go to bed for the night. Uh, we need to check the gold prices because if it, they're high right now. Uh, here, let's turn this off. Oh, okay, that's end of day. So without the nuggets, we would have only earned 22.09 ounces. I'm glad they don't take that out of the nuggets out of the rental. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here. Stock, 11.91. All right, we're gonna definitely wait till morning for that. So guys, the plan for tomorrow is that we're going to go into town and we're gonna buy the big fuel tank. Let's keep this in here. Uh, because this, um, we were doing fine with the jerry cans on the smaller stuff, but this thing has a much larger tank, so it's starting to become a thing. Um, and then, yeah, then so and we'll do that. And then if the price is over 1200 an ounce tomorrow morning, uh, then we'll also sell the gold that we currently have. If it isn't, I'm just going to sit on it and, you know, mine another day and then, uh, you know, try it again the next day. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to wrap up this cable, go inside, get myself some delicious miner's dinner, whatever that actually ends up being, <laughs> and then uh, hit the sack. And then I will bring you back uh, for the next episode tomorrow morning to go get our, our fuel tank and maybe sell our gold again, depending upon the prices. And we will go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.